Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to find the value of 1 plus square root of 3 times i divided by 2 whole power 7777. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this part, this base. To make our job easier, let's go ahead and make this base as an x. So I'm going to write down x equals to this whole thing is 1 plus square root of 3 times i divided by 2. And here I have copied down this equation. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 to remove this fraction. I'm going to multiply on 2 on the right hand side as well. So we're going to have a 2x equals to on the right hand side this 2 and 2 is gone. So we ended up with 1 plus square root of 3 times i. And now let's go ahead and move this 1 on the left hand side. So we're going to have a 2x minus 1 equal to square root of 3 times i. Now let's go ahead and take a square on both sides. I'm going to take square on the left hand side and the right hand side as well. And now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square. We are going to apply it on the left hand side. So that is going to give us 4x square minus 4x and then plus 1 equals to and now let's take care on the right hand side and just keep in your mind the imaginary number i is always equal to square root of negative one so when we take a square on both sides so i square is going to be negative one therefore the right hand side the square root and this square they undo each other so we got three times negative one now let's go ahead and add three on both sides. So the left hand side is going to become 4x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to on the right hand side. They are gone equal to 0 then. Now we can see on the left hand side all these terms are divisible by 4. So therefore I am going to divide across the board by 4. So therefore that is going to give us x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and move these two terms on the right hand side. So we got x square equal to x minus 1. And here I have copied down x square equals to x minus 1. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x. I'm going to multiply on the left hand side and on the right hand side as well. So therefore on the left hand side this is going to give us x power 3 equal to let's go ahead and distribute this thing that's going to give us x square minus x. Now let's focus on this x square and we know x square equal to x minus 1 so therefore I'm going to replace it by x minus 1 so therefore we got x power 3 equal to x minus 1 and then I'm going to write down this uh, negative x. Now we can see x and negative x is gone. x power 3 equals to negative 1 value. And here's our next step. Since we are dealing with this exponent 7777. And here I have copied it down. And let's go ahead and tweak this number. We can write this thing as... Uh, 7776 plus 1 and now this number could be written as 3 times 2592 so therefore our this number 7777 could be written as 3 times 2000 592 plus 1. Now here's our next step. Let's go ahead and make a base x for both of these side. Therefore on the left hand side we got x power 7777 equal to 
x power 3 times 2592 plus 1 on the right hand side. And now let's recall this product rule we are going to apply on the right hand side. So this could be written as x power 3 times 2592 times x power 1. And now let's recall this power rule we are going to apply on this part. So therefore this could be written as x power 3 and then power 25 92 times x power 1 is same as x but we know that our x power 3 is a negative 1 so therefore I'm going to replace this x power 3 by negative 1 so therefore we got on the right hand side negative 1 power 25 92 times x. Now we know that 2592 is an even number and when we take a power for this negative one that is going to give us positive one. So that is going to give us positive one times x. So therefore x power 7777 turns out to be simply x and we know our x value is 1 plus square root of 3 times i divided by 2. I'm going to replace over here. So therefore our simplified answer turns out to be 1 plus square root of 3 times i divided by 2. And now let me show you an alternate method to find the value of x power 3 where x value is 1 plus square root of 3 times i divided by 2. And here I have copied down x value. Let's go ahead and take power 3 on both sides. So the left hand side is x power 3 equal to on the right hand side I can write 1 plus square root of 3 times i power 3 divided by 2 power 3. And now we can see in the denominator 2 power 3 is same as 8. And on the numerator this could be written as 1 plus square root of 3 times i whole square times 1 plus square root of 3 times i power 1 as you can see in this next step and now let's focus on this part and here I have copied it down and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square let's go ahead and apply on this thing that's going to give us 1 square plus square root of 3 times i whole square plus 2 times square root of 3 times i and now in the next step this whole square is same as negative 3. Now let's go ahead and factor out negative 2 from here so that's going to give us 1 minus square root of 3 times i. Therefore I am going to replace this whole part by this one. So we can write this equation as x power 3 equals to negative 2 times 1 minus square root of 3i times 1 plus square root of 3 times i divided by 8. And now here I have copied down this whole part right up here. Now let's recall this identity a square minus b square. So this thing is going to become 1 square minus square root of 3 times i whole square. And here I have simplified it and it turns out to be 4. So therefore I am going to replace by this numerator part by 4. Therefore our equation is going to become x power 3 equals to negative 2 times this is 4 divided by 8. So therefore x power 3 is going to be equal to negative 8 divided by 8. So in other words x power 3 is going to be negative 1 by using this alternative method. Therefore we can see that our x power 3 value turns out to be negative 1 by using both methods and the rest is same and this is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.